dear aspirants uh, today we have with us uh, father of csat examination for the civil service exams uh, shri uh, professor dp agarwal sir so who introduced a lot of reforms in the civil service exams and not only that not only reforms in the examination system he also introduced the online system for the civil services application and upsc online system so today we uh, discuss certain points of uh, how to prepare for the civil service and uh, the particularly the csat how to overcome the issue of csat the people most of the people are worried about the csat why csat is being introduced and he is also known for introducing the ethics paper in the main exam with the majority of the uh, uh, marks given in the entire examination system good morning sir good morning yeah. my pleasure to be here so what actually was running in your mind when you have introduced csat sir csat in fact is a very interesting paper it has been designed to test the aptitude of a future bureaucrat in also do things ethically yes when i became chairman in fact even when as a member i used to meet very young collectors and also had chance to meet very senior brokers in the training academy the masuri they always believe that young people who are coming today are not very clear which way they should go in their lives so some start believing that coming to civil services power power alone and we always knew that power corrupts people so there were chances lot of charges of corruption against certain brokers so on aptitude aspect normally a bureaucrat looks at numbers analyze numbers whether it is the population population growth the medical support the education crop production so it is a number so if you are in a district and district collector you like to know what how your district is doing your expenditure on certain areas what are bodies so everything is a number yeah and those number they will analyze look at how to improve those numbers in a manner that the public at large be benefited it has two element therefore they should understand numbers and they should understand to manipulate numbers yeah. so if you look at one of the component in csat is those number understanding manipulation which some people start calling as a mathematics there is no mathematics it is simple numbers number manipulation understanding them in their impact on decision making there is no algebra there is no trigonometry there is no differential equation so it is purely numbers and you would remember before i made this change this component used to be in the paper one that time there used to be one general studies paper and second used to be optional subject now since we have to ensure there is no option in preliminary exam is a common exam so that the complaint by candidate that this paper was simple and therefore selected i wanted to avoid that so two issues one that i wanted to bring a common exam so paper 2 was to removed paper 2 was optional so i brought c set which was aptitude in ethics okay aptitude first thing is a, is a bureaucrat number number manipulation policy making in impact of it so that's one component second component is that each bureaucrat has to interact bulk of the people who are in top civil service for cross state interaction people do use english as a communication language you also remember that even in the pre- previous scheme english qualifier is a must and i have noticed in my time that many candidates when appear in the main will fail in english qualifier now you can imagine a candidate who prepared for mean and was not concentrating on english as a subject and if he fails in the mean it's a much bigger catastrophe 
So I thought, let very small component be brought to the prelim. Mm. So that they become serious about it. In any case, they have to qualify. So to bring that little seriousness, we brought something which students do in school. What do they do in school? You get a paragraph. You comprehend a paragraph. And based on some questions, out of that comprehension, you answer. Yes. And each student in this country, in 8th, 9th, 10th standard, does this without fail. So there was nothing big about it. It was simple to ensure that the candidate becomes serious, take English also as a relevant requirement, because it is a requirement in the mains. So their failure rate must come down. And the impact was, right in the first year, the failure rate in the mains, because English came down. But people thought I am imposing English. Idea was very different. Idea was very clear. That you have to in any case pass that. So you become serious. Continue to learn. In civil service means one mistake you are out. Yes. So that's how we brought comprehension. We brought some question in English. Very brief grammar. They used to about eight questions and people objected. Second thing which I did was that in the previous exam, there were two papers and both were counted towards yeah. merit. But since there was questions raised after I left on CSET, they made CSET as only a qualifier. The disadvantage of qualifier is that you have to in any case qualify. You have to spend time to do it. Yeah. But your effort to get better marks there, which is actually an aptitude for a bureaucrat, is not judged. Your marks are judged based on the first paper. First paper is only 200 marks. Mm. So your merit is drawn out to 200. And therefore, qualifying prelim has become more difficult. Everybody knows who understand the evaluation examination that if I evaluate candidate over a large marks, say 1000 marks, that evaluation is better than if I evaluate the same syllabi on a 200 marks. Because giving marks by exam, uh, Say in a 200 marks, 90.2 is difficult. But on a 1000 scale, they become 92 itself. So discrimination is better. This commission did not realize when I left. Therefore, today it is first paper and second paper is to qualify. Whatever marks. So C said, therefore, is important for him to understand number, communication, bit of English required and ethics is important because people start believing that day one they will go and earn money. We thought the rule of law, compassion so, in human behavior is a must. So, uh, do you think that after 12 years of implementing the CSAT examination, the same spirit that you thought is continued to exist? By and large it is impacted. I already said that people at least now read what ethics is about. It's almost like saying that if I'm telling honesty is the best policy, keep on saying, interacting with them, tell them, something will they go in their heads. It is affecting. Uh, sorry, the and the honest. other thing is that we bring case studies oh. in ethics. So what does a bureaucrat do? We bring that. So they know actually how the bureaucrat takes a decision in a situation which is complex. Uh, in the history of UPSC, uh, three major reforms have been introduced. One in uh, 1979 on the recommendations of Kothari Committee, then yeah. 88 Satish Chandra Committee, then Alaka Committee. So, uh, uh, why these reforms? Uh, each reform is con slightly contradicting with each other. No, they are not contradicting. First one simply said the focus of the Kothari Commission was before that we used to have selection for IS yeah. separately, others separately. So, what Kothari said. Let we choose some bright student, mm. put them in a merit, and according to the merit, they will choose the service. And then the training would start. Mm. But that concept continues and we have not changed. Yes. Satish Chandra did was that he wanted to bring more communication in writing. Mm. Though they, in the main paper, there was already communication. So he brought essay. Generalist. Writing an essay as one of the components. So in Kotari Commission scheme, there was no essay. Mm. But Satyendra brought an essay. Yes. Now that also has not changed. Mm. What 
the third gentleman is alag committee alag committee his recommendations were not accepted yeah. they actually were not processed uh, uh, and in that he has spoken of csat csat yeah. in fact if you ask me he has articulated csat yeah. up to a point where it is only aptitude yeah. i have extended to ethics and made it a much wider frame of a csat which a bureaucrat would do the second thing which was lacking in sa and i realized when i was member in chair that sa was to be a single sa and these essays were also used to be some out of this world kind of topics it was more of an english writing mm. on an issue in it was about 25 pages to 30 pages when we look at the marks and the kind of content people wrote the content quality was after five six pages was useless then i talked to a lot of bureaucrats and asked them after all why should i have an essay essay is written to articulate on a particular point so that we can express our views correctly and come out with a policy frame yeah. then i talked to a lot of people in policy and they said we don't write more than 10 pages of a quality paper so i divided essay in two and the two essays were started for my time each essay will consider 10 to 15 pages and the essays were divided in the social sector and economic sector because that's what the governance is governance is not to find out what is the utopian topic given in your articulates it is not articulation in english i always thought it is an articulation for policy so if i am discussing if the women percentage in andhra pradesh is 25% in higher education how does it compare other state and how do i improve in andhra pradesh what is the social factor if that is an essay with candidate articulate that's what a bureaucrat would do so my thinking of essays was understanding the governance articulate that bring into policy yes. and that's the difference so there is a continuity there is no break i made it continuous i also try to ensure that as far as possible the exam be common mm. if you remember in the previous setup there is to be two optionals yes. and the both optionals were taken by candidates 90% were those who were not studied by the university yes. so th- that means it has allowed parallel education to grow mm-hmm. and there were no advantage so some would say that i take history and i take say for example second paper is philosophy firstly the calendar to do the exam was difficult because 30 choice here 30 choice there so putting two combinations in a manner so exam used to be more than a month number of papers to be done large secondly it was not helping mm. so i articulated ultimately what does a governance do so four papers today one deals with the knowing india is culture ethics sorry culture history geography. architecture geography everything so it is full knowledge of country second paper deals with the the Pol- governance polity constitution relationships third paper deals with the rule of law and judiciary in blah blah and fourth is ethics yes. so these are four common essay common english paper common language paper common so five paper which are counted now common so a students can't say that we have been discriminated so i have these four paper every day so four days then i have an option now option is unique it's not a combination so if the people taking history on that day will take either history or geography or anything so in one day the next paper yeah. so in five day i am into finish it so i brought one month into five days mm. i made it common to student i wanted to ensure that even the optional be related to your degree but that government did not agree because they believed it it will have a problem so oh, reform was very clear very well thought of in favor of students yes sir so this was a drastic reform in the mains examination it was not really to an extent ah. but it was a need yes. if you are become a bureaucrat if you don't know Correct. the country you don't know the economy of the country by your knowing uh, pali and mm. history it doesn't help you greatly and i wanted to keep one option subject ready 
because I didn't want to take them out of university. Mm. Otherwise, the parallel education has grown so much that they will not go to university. Like for example, in Andhra, for JE exam, the IIT JE, they run in 10 plus 2, the JE and the 10 plus 2. Mm. So actually they are coaching for GE. School is only a by sign. Mm. This would have actually happened here. So degree would have been by sign. But imagine we only select 1000 people. What would happen to millions of people if I completely break from university? Yeah. So I resisted that greatly. In fact, after that also there has been a talk that they wanted to remove this option paper. Option paper was brought only that the student grow with the university and when he goes to university, he learns many things. He interacts with peers, he participates in university activities, he listens to good lectures, he goes to library, he fights in the street, he does everything. Yes. So his personality grows. So in fact, I did an enormous amount of work. Uh, so when uh, you are selecting a candidate, uh, would you uh, test the candidate with the academic dimension or a bureaucratic dimension? See, academic dimensions has already been checked mm. in our written papers. We broadly discuss issues mm. which are daily life activity, people impacted, issues. policies of the government. And obviously, as a bureaucrat, what would be your role in doing these things? And there we want to look at, and we have said, we want you to take a good interest in mm. what happens around you, how does the society impact, and you take an intelligent view. You don't take a repeated view. And what again, because of parallel education, the difference between the candidate is disappearing. Mm -hmm. So to discriminate is becoming difficult. In anything which is dis discriminating, they think it is difficult. So uh, uh, you have served the UPSC for almost 11 years as a member and a chairperson. And you would have interviewed around 2 lakhs people I think. So what actually UPSC is expecting from these candidates? See, one thing about UPSC is that this is one organization which has never hidden anything. You are aware. We don't hide anything. We have given syllabus fully. We have given marks full. We have also given you date fixed. We have also written what are going to be personality tests. We have not hidden anything. And personality tests just revolve around. People believe we will ask subject. We will ask subject if you are an engineer. And what have you done? You should know. Mm. You are a graduate after all. So we just want to know, did you take some interest in your graduation? In candidate who are 7-8 years appearing, they just forget what engineering is what. But once they are selected, they would say, I was an engineer. And they start telling people, this is what engineering is about. But in effect, they have forgotten. So we want that interest of them. What have they learned in the university? That's all academics done. Mm -hmm. Rest is only governance. So, will there be any uh, favorability towards leftist ideology or rightist ideology? There is no ideology. Or Country governance has no ideology. Okay. Country governance has never had any ideology, not even today. Okay. Governance is governance, role of governance is to, to, to work for the policy implementation, get the feedback, take a right decision, be unbiased. That continues. And therefore, the bureaucrats are called. We are in cutting. That is still remain. It's only a public image mm. that there is a color. Yeah. Now, obviously, when there is a government policy, it is implementing policy. Yes. Policies come with a color or a non-color. The government would know. Yeah. Bureaucrat is not making policy. Who is making policy? Policy is made by the, the parliament and the governance. And the governance is the government. Difference between the government and the governance is, bureaucrat is a part of a governance. Yes, sir. Politics is a part of the government. Okay. Government might run on ideologies and things like it. So their program is in policies, would be debated, discussed. It is for them. And nobody can quarrel with it. A political party coming into power will do things the way they think is best. The bureaucrat has to, to only employ those policy implementation to the best to people to reach. So I don't see a conflict. Yes, sir. And finally, sir. Uh, okay, oh, there are few things, do's and don'ts, mm. which may change. In my time, do's were no political discussion, no discussion on current politicians, no discussion on religion. These were sir do's and don'ts. Yeah. It may change. Mm. Because people are also maturing. 
if you today look at the kind of discussion which happen in multimedia on issues which are relevant mm. has increased yes so boys and girls are also aligned to those kind of things so what's wrong then mm. what is important is that you must have your unique idea not copied not unnecessary talking by heart logical mind clarity uh, very frequently people ask me uh, can the upsc test the capability and caliber of the candidate in just 30 minutes we do we have done so much about it yeah. we have tested you all through yes. if you look at the people question paper that, yeah. if you look at the question paper the prelim nothing on earth is left not to be checked there is that right we give you a case study yes. we give you a comprehension we give you numbers we give you history geography what else you should know you are an engineer you have taken a subject in history what do i check of history when i check history you don't know but when i check up the engineering you feel flat you fall flat and it's also not sure that you become a when a district collector you are looking more aspects yes. not in your name so what is the suggestion that you give to the students to for card <laughs> read from better material don't study to the point understand the subject clarify your fundamentals and depend on your capability regular 5 to 8 hours generally how many years it will take to complete the civil services preparation sir if somebody is good one can do in one one time after 19% people are coming in first attempt so is a huge number okay so what in second attempt there are 30% so <coughs> almost 50% will complete in two years yes remaining 25% in the third year so only 25% people keep on taking 4 5 6 7 8 8. what is the better age to start the preparations if it is clear for you oh. earlier the better 